Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how Kubernetes secrets and config maps can be exposed via powerful service accounts mounted on the pods, even if the Kubernetes user doesn't have enough permission to access any secrets or config maps. This happens when your service accounts are bound to powerful roles or cluster roles, and this can be exploited by malicious hackers. So if your secrets are not encrypted in SCD database, this is a big security risk. So let's get to the demo. Okay, in this demo, I'm accessing my Kubernetes cluster using a normal Kubernetes user called Groot. The Groot is just a normal Kubernetes user and he's not an administrator. So using his credential, I don't have a lot of permissions within the Kubernetes uh, cluster. So first let's try to find out what he's capable of, uh, what kind of permissions he has. Um, okay, so let's do this. So apparently, I have get access or read access uh, to pods and some services, but not deployments. So what about secrets and config maps? Okay, so I don't have access to um, secrets or config maps. So let's see. Um, at least I have. Uh, get access to pods. So uh, let's take a look at uh, one of the pods, uh, Super, okay, and see if there is a service account uh, being mounted on the pod. And if it is, uh, we'll try to use the service account credential to access to other Kubernetes resources, okay? Um, Okay, so there's a service account mounted on the pod uh, called Superman. So let's see if we can have shell access into the pod. Um, bash. Cool. So we're able to gain shell access into the pod. Um, and uh, let's try to see, let's try to um, take a look at the token because service account has a token. Okay, so this is a directory. Let's take a look at this directory. So if you do ls, we will see see insert the namespace file and the token. So. If you take a look at the token, this is a token file, and it is very lengthy, and we're gonna need to use it later. So um, we have to create a variable because we don't want to use a very lengthy um, uh, file, right? So let's create a variable. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now we're trying to access Kubernetes APIs from within the pod. Um, typically, the Kubernetes API is um, exposed to the pod as a service. So we'll try to access to it using things like call. Okay. Dash K. All right, so we have um, anonymous access. So let's try to use the token um, this time and see what happens. So I'm gonna pass a header 
authorization header bearer followed by token okay status is still fail failure but it's different now so now we're accessing uh, you know using superman's credential instead of anonymous so now that's different okay so let's see using superman's credential what kind of uh, Kubernetes uh, resources we can have access to um api let's try to see if we can have access to secrets v1 namespaces let's try this on default namespace and secrets there you go so apparently the superman um, a, a service account is tied to a, a powerful role or a cluster role so he has access to the secrets okay so let's take a look at one of the secrets um, okay very secure and this is the value so so the value here is not a Encrypted it's basically encoded using base sixty four. So what we need to do is this base sixty four dash t to decode it. There you go. This is the plain text. Okay. So you're able to see this because the etcd database is not encrypted. So let's try this. Ah. Uh, on config maps so instead of secrets let's see if we can access config maps there you go we can have access to config maps as well using superman's account uh, service account so this is how kubernetes secrets and config maps can be exposed via powerful service accounts mounted on the pods even if the Kubernetes user doesn't have enough permission to access any of the secrets or config maps. This is a big security risk, especially if your secrets are not encrypted in SCD database. So how do you avoid this? Okay, encrypt SCD database, tighten up access control, make sure roles and cluster roles are created based on least privilege principle and make sure powerful roles are not tied to service accounts disable auto mount for service account whenever possible and lastly and most importantly make sure your parts are immutable in a sense that people do not have shell access into the part in the first place and things like cold shouldn't be installed okay thank you for watching